YouTube. What's going on YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy Shrek and we're back with another video guys. Today's video as the title states, I think I'm gonna title it something along these lines. Let me put you guys down right here. Well, something like that. All right, so I have a few trucks I need to do service on this week starting tomorrow and as you guys know you have to prime the fuel system whenever you switch out the filters the fuel filters so i'm prepping up my stuff i picked up some parts all the oil the filters there's a few other things that the trucks require which i already picked up those parts as well you guys are actually on top of the oil jugs or oil buckets right now it's four buckets because it's going to be two different trucks so it's 11 and 11 gallons of oil anyways getting off topic already in order to prime the fuel system the proper way you need a pump it's a like an external pump to push diesel through the filters housings but I checked online and that pump or whatever you want to call it I forgot the proper name I'll I'm pretty sure I'll put it somewhere on the video with the asterisk the proper name for it so prime or oh, the primer the fuel priming pump I believe it's called well either way that pump is about 350 to 400 dollars to purchase I don't want to buy it right now that's out of my budget so we're going to try and make our own I have a clip of me getting this pump it's just a regular ordinary sprayer from Home Depot like 16 17 dollars there's a clip going on right now I believe I'll be putting up a clip of it getting picked up from Home Depot so and then you need one of these these are called forgot the name uh yeah I forgot the name guys I'll be on the screen as well and I will have a link for these I bought it off of you can buy these off of Amazon they go for about $30, I think, don't quote me. But there is a link in the description for these. And then a few other things from Home Depot, a little lever and a little adapter. So let's go ahead and open this up. Here it is, simple. And here's the wand sprayer part. So, let's see. Should have got in my pocket knife, but I don't have it. There we go. We don't need the wand. Here's the part that goes into the pump. Or the sprayer and this part wonder if I could use it with this negative so get this put the little adapter on it just like that Then we are gonna put a valve in between it, just to be able to open and close it. I'll go ahead and put um, pipe threader on this afterwards. Wait a minute, doing this wrong. Ah, I need another adapter. I'm gonna have to go back to Home Depot and get another adapter. Man, should've got another one. Well. Yeah, I should've got another one. Anyways, I'll figure something out. This goes on here. We're gonna have to get another little adapter just to be able to fit this in between. I didn't think of that. But regardless, this is how I'm going to make it. Real simple, guys cost me under $50 when the actual pump is about, like I said, 350 to 400. 
not 100% sure how much it was. I did look for it this past week after I knew about these trucks, the service. Because there is a way you could do it. You prime it on the actual fuel module, fuel filter module, but you have to prime it like 150 plus times and it gets tiring. So I decided to do this. Yeah, it's pushing. So essentially with a little valve, you'll be able to turn it on and off and then just plug this into the filter module. The fuel filter module has a little part. We're just setting it up today because we actually will be going tomorrow to work on these trucks and I'll get the remainder of the parts and show you guys the rest tomorrow, see if it does work or it doesn't. So part one of a two part video here we go. We'll pick it up tomorrow, guys. We are back with our pump. And I actually found out the name. It's a CompuSearch fitting. Like I said, it will be linked down in the description. Along with, I believe I found a sprayer that's on Amazon. So I'll have a link for that one as well. Anyways, we are doing service on this truck. We have the fuel filters out. Just so you guys can see that I am doing the service. And I'll go ahead and install these filters and then prime the filter housing with our pump, our homemade pump, see if it works. I was going over the footage from yesterday and when I was assembling the pump and I did mention it would need 90 PSI. That was a mistake on my part. It doesn't actually take 90 PSI into it, but it builds about 90 PSI once it's turning on. So as long as you prime up the filters, you should be good with this pump. With that being said, let me get these filters on and I'll be right back. All right guys, so if you don't know, this is where you're supposed to prime your fuel filter housing. And this plugs right into it. Just like that. Now you wanna close this little valve. So I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but we're going to close it. What we're going to be doing is just pumping this. Oh, close that valve. Let's see if we could hear anything. Yeah, I actually heard it. You guys probably couldn't hear it, but I heard it. So all I'm going to do is pump. I can tell we're leaking. We're just going to keep pumping. Get enough fuel through the whole system. This should be a lot easier than pumping this little valve. Like I said, this one you do usually pump about 100 to 150 times before you get any pressure in it. It's usually like this really easy so I'm actually not gonna pump it and see if our external prime pump works gives us results This is a two gallon spray container or sprayer. So I feel like about a gallon of diesel going through it should be enough. Should be enough to fill up those filter, the filter housing. All right, so 
now what I'm going to do is go ahead and try to crank it over haven't changed anything it's still open we're gonna try to crank it over see if it made a difference all right perfect you see the priming help a lot so it helped out a lot with that priming pump we didn't have to actually manually prime it no more and we were able to not starve the engine or the injectors from fuel Now we just disconnect it and we're good to go. Our little homemade prime pump worked perfectly. Cost us about give or take $50. About $55 I think it was. And saved us about $300. The actual pump is about 300. I'll post a picture of it. I'm pretty sure the thumbnail has a picture, but I'll post a picture of here of a quick Google search looking for that primer pump or that priming pump. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. With that being said, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hopefully this helps someone out there. Give us a thumbs up if it did and yeah, we're just trying to save you guys some money and show you guys how to properly prime your truck after you have successfully done your maintenance on it. That being said, guys, like always, if you're at home, enjoy time with your family. If you're on the road, be safe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.